Let's do this. Shoot me with a t-shirt cannon. <laughs> Couple hours into the trip, folks. Uh, I am on my way to Ohio with uh, this son of a gun right here. Hi. Hi. Uh, we are going to Cleveland for the Cleveland Gaming Classic. It's going to be awesome. And we're guests there because, you know, fancy people. That's true. Um, but it's going to be a blast. We have, I think, a couple more hours or so to go until we are there. And then we're going to look at all kinds of cool con stuff together. Yeah. All right. We're here at the IX Center. I'm out of breath because I just carried stuff in. But uh, tables aren't ready yet. There's a Jay in the background at his table. All right. So time to uh, get set up, shall we? And there we have it, folks. We are all set up and ready to go. Got a bunch of merch this time, so that's fun. Trying out some new stuff here too. We got some sling bags and totes. Got a few games, a couple of consoles. And then over here, Jay's uh, got some of his stickers made by yours truly, Casey Art and Apparel, everyone, for uh, all of your amazing sticker needs, including holographics. Woo! How you doing, Steven? How are you doing? I, I, I'll do better uh, as long as your kid doesn't point cameras at me in weird ways again this time. So we were told by uh, Mr. Steven Haywood that uh, right here is a YouTube photo op area. What? Look at that. That's fancy. And look at this stage area. Wow, that's fancy. People setting up. Nice, huge free play area. That is awesome. I am very excited to partake in all of this. Holy crap, it keeps going. Look at all that way over there. That's awesome. Very cool. So uh, Square Pegs and I uh, are being bad and we haven't gotten our badges yet. You're Corey, right? Yeah, Hi, right. Corey. Hi. Hi. There's a, there's a Corey there. That's a me. Jay and I have uh, been bad though. We need to get our passes so we are finding pass people right now so that we can get those passes and actually get checked into the con. Let's uh, let's see. Ooh, that guy, I heard my name. So you're gonna hear this in Jay's video too, but uh, I don't care. And we're excited because there's something in this area. I bet we can find the keys. And I think we should reenact Atari 2600's Joust. Yes. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this real quick. Yeah. Yeah, we should make that happen. So I just happened to look up and that's an LED panel wall from the back. Let's uh, let's come around here. Let's look at the LED panel wall from this side. Oh, it's not on right now. Damn, that's cool. It's weird how empty these places are the day before it actually starts and then how crowded it is once it starts. It's always impressive to me to watch during the setup because it goes from nothing uh -huh. to ready to go. It very much does. Like this room a few hours ago was probably quite empty and it is quite not now. And they're still setting up. This is, this is gonna be awesome. Now, whenever you're the showrunner, you tend to get presents. So these are some uh, custom Game Dad and CGC bags right here for Tom. I gotta figure out where he ran off to now. Hey Tom, got something for you. Great. Rocking that CGC on one side and Game Dad on the other, baby. Oh, Game Dad on the other? Heck yeah. Check it out. Gotta keep it branded, man. Where am I? He's hiding. I'm in the, uh, <laughs> so hopefully the kids will like those ones. All right, and then I just saw Brian with BD Mods. Hey, he makes all of the amazing controllers. We featured him on the channel before, but I actually do the printing and stuff for his controllers and his stickers and things. So I have uh, a goodie package of one of his recent orders. So we're gonna go grab that and go give that over to Brian at BD Retro Mods. All right, we are here. Brian with BD Retro Mods is setting up a cool experience here. But uh, Brian, yeah. I have a special package for you, my friend. Oh, thank you, man. Heck Appreciate yeah. It. Yeah, go KC Art and Apparel. I'm definitely not, you know, pimping myself out at all. Heck yes, scan this QR code if you want the best third-party retro controllers you've ever seen in your life, Brian does awesome, awesome work. So I've just spotted Tom, the guy who uh, founded, runs, owns this convention. 
Squarepeg thinks he's gonna hate this footage. I don't really care, I think it's funny. Hi, Tom! So if you've ever wondered what it's like behind the scenes for a YouTuber as famous as Square Pegs to uh, capture some footage, well, there's his camera right there. He's capturing footage to make it look so authentic like he actually plays games. We all know the truth though, folks. We know the truth. I bet he can't even beat level one of Mario. So, I don't know if you know this, but um, I'm a time traveler. For those that don't believe me, I mean, just look at the couch. Look at the walls. I am in a time long forgotten where couches often had plastic on them and uh, video games were abundant and they were proper NES hard. I am a time traveler. So here's a bit more behind the scenes action. We've, uh, we're on the other side of the free play area, but tomorrow, this place is gonna be slammed. This is the whole opening area where everyone will come through the doors to enjoy the Cleveland Gaming Classic. And during their enjoyment, they will also be able to get food and drink and have merriment, including a jack-o'-lantern. Hey, so I recently did a video unboxing the camera that I am currently using for this. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And I gotta say, I was just telling Jay from Square Pigs how how much extra footage I'm getting because it's so damn easy to use this camera. I'm gonna put a card up above if I remember, probably not, uh, but that video bombed so hard. You should go watch it and at least get it above 100 views. Like it did bad, but this camera is awesome. I see someone I know. I'm gonna come say hi. Oh, he's rocking out. Let's go, let's go. Shred, baby, shred. Oh, damn, he almost hit his employee. Uh, so apparently, I'm at the wrong show because next month there's a cat show. Oh, and then Yingling Flight. But look at the cool screens they have everywhere. That one moves. Ooh. Oh, it glitched. Here's our buddy uh, Jay Gaming's booth. He's got all kinds of good stuff. All kinds of good stuff. What the? What you doing there, Jay? You're doing the shark? I choose to be around people like this. Okay, so. I'm still here at the Jay Gaming booth and I just found something that I have never seen in person or complete in box. Y'all ready for this? The Game Wave Family Entertainment System. That looks so awful. Good, how you doing, man? Check out all these sweet signs. Are these all 3D printed? Damn, nice quality. The 3D printed bender. It's covering up his shiny metal at. Oh, then we've got the Kirby, the bob a bunch of Pikachus. Oh, Jay, they have a big Mega Man. Oh, man. Look at this, multi-part Samus. That's amazing. What do you guys do, like lacquer those afterwards? Yeah. Damn, it's shiny. Yeah. yeah. That is freaking cool. The setup is continuing. Got all the awesome boxes of games. Nice. Now I got a question for you guys. You got any N gauge? What about Neo Geo Pocket or Pocket Color? Darn it! The consoles we picked were too obscure. Yeah. Hmm. There's a wall here. What's in the wall? What's behind the wall? It's a hole. There's a hole in the wall on a bump on a log in a hole in the bottom of the sea. We found a guy who's uh, got some product that I might be uh, interested in here. It's all junk? I'll be the judge of that. Oh my gosh, ew. I mean, let's see. We probably have a player's choice. <gasps> we do. Player's choice. And it's one that I don't have. Heck yes. First purchases of the con. This one, it's so dumb that it's taken so long to find this because it's not like a crazy expensive game. It's just so hard to find. And this copy is clean as hell, man. And then the player's choice of Ocarina. The list gets smaller, people. Jay, I found your Halloween costume. Uh, I prefer that one. You prefer this one for Halloween? Yeah. You could pull that off. I know I could. Hashtag free the now. Come to this booth for all your backpack needs. Some of these are actually like legit pretty cute. Now this is a cool booth. Look at it. Arcade marquees, that's sick. 
That's for oh, look at these like mini versions of the magnet versions yeah, of them. Yeah. That's sick. That's very cool. I like that. Ooh, I like the lit up signs too. Here we are at the Long Island Gaming booth. Uh, and they like to play with plastic occasionally. They have a Blockbuster membership card? They do. <gasps> That's awesome. And now that I have this booth on camera, it's obviously better than the other one we looked at. Look at that right there. That is a 3D Professor Oak's lab. They even have a giant membership card. I love all the 3D prints. The 3D Pokemon cards, I think, are the coolest. That's awesome. More setup happening. It's always nice when you can see a ton of bins. I like bins. Ooh, boxed Sega Dreamcast keyboard. Very cool. But I already have the keyboard. I am Game Dad. <gasps> I was recognized. I was recognized. No, it's <laughs> not the first time that's happened. It's an expensive piece that I got yeah. when we bought the game store, so this thing is nuts. So Jay always says that it's the summer of Sega, but is it really? Will he uh, pony up the amount? I will I not. That's Tune in next time to find his answer. I will not. This I is not next time. I will not. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. No, I All right, so Square Pegs and I, We've gone around to a lot of the stuff. <gasps> Mega Man helmet. Pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, we've gone around to a lot of the stuff here. Um, obviously, people are still setting up, so it's still going to be a ton to see uh, over the next couple days. But uh, I'm already tired. Are you tired? My legs hurt. I know. My legs hurt, too. Oh, it's that old age. What? Crokinole. What's Crokinole? Uh, like a really, really fun tabletop game. Jay is very excited about this. We have uh, we Crokinole. Have have a crokinole table. Uh, he likes it so much, he apparently has ordered one and has one coming next month. Yep. Huh. Shuffleboard curling on a tabletop is what crokinole is, okay? Yeah, yeah. So it's like a shuffleboard meets like bumper pool kind of thing. Very much so. Okay. Okay, I could get behind that. That's cool. But yeah, I'm tired. But I think we are going to meet up with uh, Mr. John Riggs and uh, some other folks, and um, we're going to see what we're doing tonight. I don't know what we're doing tonight. We'll figure it out. Got a poop, Dad. Oh, Hi. <laughs> That's, That's nice. perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Scott. Would you like to see the console cam? Ah! <laughs> he tried to eat my camera. He's gonna eat through that camera. Oh my! I hope I picked that up too, Riggs. <laughs> so Gary from Korgs isn't here right now, so I'm gonna go through all of his stuff. I don't know if he'll get mad at me. I don't think Gary's capable of getting mad. You think he could get mad? I bet he'll get glad. I'm gonna go under his Pac-Man sheets. Ooh. All right, party people. Uh, the lighting in here kind of sucks right now. They don't have the main lights on. But um, yeah, last night was an adventure. Talk about that later, maybe. Um, the hotel we're at is not bueno, but it's not the con's fault, it's the hotel's fault. Hey. But here for day two, official day one of the con, I uh, am, am excited. Uh, is the Jay excited? When Jay wakes up, the Jay will be excited. Um, but we're gonna go just explore a little bit. Uh, maybe show y'all uh, some pre-show footage here. We already got a ton of footage uh, that you've probably already seen up to this point. But uh, yeah, we're gonna look at uh, the behind the scenes. For all your uh, con-going weapon needs. Wow. There's a lot. That one has bones coming out of it. Huh. Look at that. These are fancy. I love these. Victor's bought us really nice. A Nuka-Cola gun. Nice. That's cool. How's it going? Pretty good. So I got to ask, if you try to travel uh, on a plane with any of these, do they look at you funny? Well, I had two big boxes of just... Guns. <laughs> and I, I come in and I, I was checking them in. He's like, we gotta search them. So if you're into gotcha machines, they have a couple of them here. But okay, maybe they have a couple more. But maybe they, maybe they have a lot more. Holy crap! 
the uh, the gotcha is they got you in there to look at all of the gotcha machines. It's time to go mess with all the J Gaming stuff since he's not here. Let's see, what can we play with? No, he didn't. Jay said we should. <laughs> he said we should get that sewing machine. I never said that. Get the sewing machine. Grab it, yeah. And here we have a Jay in his natural habitat, looking at action figures. Yep, can't confirm. He was really excited by a C-3PO. Oh, uh, that's that that figure right there. Uh, well, not that figure, but that card back. Uh huh. Uh, is what started my Star Wars toy collecting. Ah, so it's that C-3PO's fault right there. Ooh, and a bunch of pops. Yeah. I like all the stuffs here. They have lots of good stuffs. Ooh, what do we got here? Going through the unopened booths. It's exciting. Yay, Skylanders! Ugh, toys to life. You clearly haven't watched my Wii U video yet. That's a good, X-Men 2 on Genesis is a good X-Men game. But is it as cool as a Lightning McQueen CRT? I don't know if it is. Oh my God, are you Kevin with the Game On Network? Where'd he go? I mean, this is a cool booth, depending on what you're into. Oh my, that's an exciting mask. I have a question for all of you. How fast is your tongue? Hell yeah, another player's choice variant. And I just recently picked it up already, so I'm not getting it here, obviously, but another player's choice variant. Very, very nice. Well, that was fun. We were talking to uh, the folks over at the Robzilla booth. They were just a pleasure to talk to. But, oh, I thought that was that uh, one game we saw at uh, the other con. Uh, but, sorry, Rabbit Squirrel, I'm just crazy and look at everything. But they were fun, but they are about to open the show officially, so we gotta go to our booths now and uh, hang out there for a bit. All right, so apparently uh, there's this like doctor guy that wants me to go into a living room area and he wants to like talk to me or something. So we're gonna go do that. Don't and a word he says. I, I can't believe a word he says, but he's the one who said that. Who do I trust? So there's that doctor guy. I don't know why he needs a camera. He said he just needed to talk to me in this room. It's weird. Jay? I don't think he's a doctor, he just have a lab coat. I'm scared, Jay. We're just two dudes chilling on a couch. Gonna be asked some questions by a fake doctor who may or may not be lying about things. On a very awful futon. This, are there good futons? Oh, the one we had when we first got married was fantastic. Ah, nice. He hit record on something. Uh, I thought this guy was a professional doctor. All right, folks, it is the final day of the Cleveland Gaming Classic. It's been awesome. It was way busier here this year than it was last year. That is for darn sure, but it has been absolutely awesome. There have been a ton of people and actually some pretty good finds for me at least. I know Jay was looking for some specific stuff, not quite finding what he was looking for for the collection, but for me, I found a bunch of stuff for the N64, so that was awesome, helped whittle down those numbers a little more, but realized that uh, I didn't really show any of the arcade footage. So before everyone else gets here, let's take a look at the arcade, shall we? So at first glance, it may not look like it's a lot, but when people are here, this arcade is packed. But what's nice is they set everything up in like little pods. That way everyone has tons of room. You don't feel like you're crowded and stuffy little lines, things like that. And it's just awesome. I mean, look, there's even a Wild J playing Star Wars The Mandalorian pinball. And he's having a blast right now. He's even recording it. But this is great. There's plenty of room. People can walk, people can play, and people can just have a great time. All right, so this pin has caught my eye. This is a Venom pin, and I want to play. Let's grab a little footage of this, shall we? You was the host. You know how lucky you are that I choose you. Ooh, what is this? H2 Overdrive. I'm gonna check this one out. If I can get footage with camera placement, we'll see. Okay, so that arcade was awesome, but I couldn't get any footage, but check it out. They even have an R-Type arcade. Let's see if I can play this while I film it. I don't know if I'll be able to. And boy, does that flash a lot on the screen. Let's see here. 
I'm not very good at R-Type to begin with, so this should be interesting. Oh no! I'm already gonna die. I'm already gonna die. This is great though. They have a really good selection. They have some newer stuff. They have some older stuff. They have some loud stuff like the Guitar Hero Arcade over there. They have a Foo Fighters arcade, or pinball machine here, which is really cool. Look at this. They have this giant Terminator Salvation. That's a really fun arcade machine. I just love how much room they have for everything, though. It's nice. You don't feel crowded at all. Let's go check out the free play area, though. So pretty much nothing is on in the free play area right now, probably because, you know, there's no one here. This is our chance to fix things. Oh, they even have an old PC area. Check this out. This is awesome. They're running things all the way back to Apple IIe. They have Windows 95, 98. Oh, this is sick. Oregon Trail, anyone? Hell yeah. Dang, that's an old HP laptop. Ooh, a machine with StarCraft ready to go. Very cool. I wonder if there's some sort of Tetris tournament going on here. They got a bunch of uh, clone machines with a bunch of different Tetris things. I'm sure it has to do, oh yeah, classic Tetris world. Yep, yep, yep. They definitely uh, have some sort of Tetris tourney going on here. And then of course, here is Brian's display. That's Brian with BD Retro Mods. He makes all of these amazing controllers. Look at this, there's an Intellivision one that's like an arcade stick. Here's some like arcade pads going here. This is excellent. Got a Jaguar in there, got a 7800 in there. Nice classic little joystick right there. Oh yeah, look at Neo Geo arcade sticks. He makes all of these, he makes so many, they're awesome. Very cool. Oh, the track and field one. And then look at this over here that I just saw. Look at that. It's an MVS, but it's like some sort of external kit. I haven't seen that before, I like that. That way you don't have to have the full cab. Very cool. And I've spotted a wild J. He's filming all the other arcades that are here and even more pins. They have so much and it's awesome. Jay, are you having fun in the arcade? I really am, it's awesome. I play a lot of pinball things. Heck yeah. I didn't realize exactly how bad at pinball I am. Yeah, I'm very bad at pinball as well. <laughs> See, I was commenting on the video that it may look like it's rather empty right now because there's no one in it, but all the little pods that they did for setups instead of rows, so much nicer. Okay. Everyone can play. There's plenty of room to watch. There's plenty of room to walk through. It's awesome. Check out the Beatles Beetle Mania table by Stern. This is sick. I need to play some of this. <laughs> Well, the arcade area was fun, uh, but I think I'm gonna go back and chill at the table for a little bit. Maybe I'll go look around a little more, but uh, yeah, this is the final day of CGC. We'll see if we can find anything else while we're here. All right, so just got done uh, doing a panel with uh, Stephen Haywood over at uh, Tech Buzz Gaming. He's always at these shows, doing a fun live panel going on throughout the day, covering the show. And now, uh, Mr. Square Pigs and I, we're coming back to our tables for a little bit and uh, hanging out. Let's do this. Shoot me with a t-shirt cannon. Oh. <laughs> All right, so it's coming to a close. Got a long drive home after this. Uh, and I think this year was successful. I found some good stuff. Uh, Mr. Riggs, what did you find? Anything good? You know, I did. I can never leave empty handed. People always ask, like, what are you looking for? I don't know until I see it. Yep. Um, and boy, oh boy, oh boy, at this convention did I saw it. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, I was, you know what? I was looking for copies of Iron Sword okay. for the <laughs> NES. Yeah. Because I have a special project coming up, which will be just in time for the Portland Expo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, no, I mean, I love looking at the art stuff. I like looking, I still need to do a little bit of shopping before we head out. Gotta grab something for the kids and all that. Yep. But, oh, I need to do that. Whoops. Uh oh. There's still time. There is. There's still time to lose all my money dollars. <laughs> um, I don't know. And then just uh, just the cool people and hanging out. I've never been to Cleveland before, so yeah. it's always fun for me just to hang out and go and get uh, food. It's I a cool know. little town. I like it. I'll be yeah. back. I'll be yeah. back. We'll be back. Yeah. He'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. And uh, what about you over here, Mr. J? You do look even shorter <laughs> than normal. What's your question? Hi. Did you have a good damn time, sir? Yes, I did. Absolutely. I absolutely love this show, Cleveland Gaming Classic Rules. Uh, super fun. Um, I love that it said gimbal endpoints for each. That's how short I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it was a great time. I can't wait to come back next year. 
Awesome. Well, I will probably do a recap of everything once I'm home, but if not, there, that's the end. Bye.